in a quarter mile. Merge onto I-285 South. Welcome to Crafting with Cost. I'm Cost, and welcome back to Crafting with Cost. If you're back and you're ready for another DIY project. So in today's project, I'm going to be creating some cute and fun wall art. I'm going to be creating a trendy, spackling wall art piece, as well as some fun and bright spray painted wall art using spray paint and resin. So if you want to see how these wall art decor pieces turn out, then let's go ahead and let's get right started. <music> So for the first piece of wall art, I'm going to be creating some of that trendy wall art using spackling. So I have some vinyl spackling and a spreader. And this is really simple. I'm just going to be randomly placing spackling wherever I feel like it needs to go. And I'm just going to be spreading it and adding texture and just covering the entire canvas. <laughs> that you just really can't mess this up and it was very relaxing and therapeutic just to sit here and just randomly place spackle on a canvas <laughs>
for the next piece of wall art, I'm going to be using some cardboard and a canvas to create some geometric and abstract wall art. So first I'm just using some scrap cardboard from a package that I got in the mail and I'm just cutting the cardboard into just random strips and then I'm just peeling the cardboard back so I can get to the cardboard that has those ridges on it. I'm just using the back of a paintbrush to kind of go through the ridges to get rid of all of that little extra cardboard residue and I found that this is the easiest way to do it. And now that I have the cardboard peeled and the shapes cut that I'm going to be using, I'm just randomly putting the shapes different places to see where I want to glue everything down. some white acrylic paint to paint all of it white. I really had no idea where I was going with this but I really do like the way that it turned out and it's full of lots of texture which is something that I really love in decor pieces and this pop of black just really just sets it off. Thank you. 
And for the next piece of wall art, I'm going to be using some neon spray paint to create some affirmational words on a canvas to go in my daughter's bedroom. <music> And I'm just literally spray writing the letters. It's so easy, but I feel like it's still giving that graffiti look that I kind of want to have. And I'm just layering different colors on top. dried and then I'm taping up the edges and getting it prepped for adding some resin. mixed up some resin based on the package instructions and here I am just pouring it on top and then I'm using the back of a hanger that I had and kind of using that to kind of spread all of it around and I'm doing that for both of the canvases that I'm going to be making. for watching give this video a thumbs up and subscribe with the bell to see what i'm crafting next